So what we've got here is the Voyager 485. The 4 Series has got the over cab on it. Uh, it's ov obviously all the Voyagers are on a Ford. So it's 69,495. the Ford alloy wheels obviously now you're talking about mirrors that stick out quite a way <laughs> I think they tried to make the overcab as unnoticeable as possible difficult to hide it though but that's the idea of the four series is that obviously you can travel with more people toilet cassette a shower point here is a cold shower point, but uh, it's there anyway. Truma heating, there's your fill point, and the 12 volts uh, plug for plugging a, a submersible pump in. Okay, so got quite a good size garage here, plenty of tie down points. A little locker there. Tables in here. I think I found that with the other Voyagers that uh, they put the table in the garage, which is okay, but uh, you've got a load of stuff in here and <laughs> loaded up with awnings, then uh, could be a bit of a pain getting that out. Got this interesting sort of cover over the lock now. It is a single handle there. But I think that's a security idea, I don't know. Have a look at the back. Quite a plain looking back really, but got rear view camera and bike rack provision on there. Hmm. There's the other door to the garage. Of course you've got your 12 volt point. USB charging, and that's quite nice. You can put your phones in that little socket, socket, duck it there, charge them up. Yeah. It's got gas struts on the doors. Oh, so I always struggle to get these open. One hand, there we go. A provision for oh, two 11s, possibly. It's quite tall. Hmm. Okay. Let's have a look at the figures. Oh, obviously you've got your vents for your fridge there. So it's on a 150 brake horsepower Euro 6 2 litre engine. Uh, 3,500 overall length, 7.54 overall height 2.98 it's actually quite tall uh, nice door with the umbrella stand fly screen window also down here I think that's a barbecue point yeah barbecue point there quite a wide habitation step nice and easy to get into because it's a well, how many beds will we have here four You've got a double dinette here, so you could travel with six. I assume, oh yeah, you could probably make that bed up as well. I'll have a look in a second. I always forget to look to see how many it sleeps. And drop down bed at the top there. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think that's more of an occasional bed, so probably five really, sleep five. Seat belts for six. Ford cab, this one's on a manual. You can specify an automatic, but remember with these, you do get better towing capacity. I think it goes up to 2,000 kilograms of towing capacity on a manual. Uh, it limits it if it's on a, uh, an automatic. I'll stick the figures on the screen here from the Ford manual, just in case anyone doubts me. I've heard people say that they can all tow 2,000. They can't. There's the drop-down bed. 
nice and easy to drop down, just a single simple manual. I think you're going to have to tell us what the space up there is like. Got a little window at the side. Presumably you sleep, you head that end. Oh, that's sort of a bit of a gas strut so it holds it up. You have got clips there to secure it in place. But there's plenty of headroom under here. No problem with, with headroom until you get right to about there, but then you'll be ducking anyway. Oh, that's good. I do like the double diners. <laughs> they seem quite, quite a, a nice way to dine. If there's just four of you, really, that's not too bad, is it? I'm not sure how you get on if there was five or six of you. But uh, I'm just looking to see. Don't think the cab seats swivel. I think they're just on a fixed thing. And they've got all the gubbins under the seat there. But yeah, what have we got up here? We have a side, side, sideboard here. I just couldn't think of the word. You could put a really nice big TV there, couldn't you? Put a TV point above it. That'd be quite good. Watch from there. Yeah. Sort of standard controls. There's your Truma. It's the old style Truma control. Not got the new panel there. Look what these lockers look like. Quite tall. Quite a bit of wiring on show there. Could have done with a little bit of a panel over it, that would have been nice. Here's your cutlery drawer. More drawers here. Closed quite nicely. Space under there. And a flap extra workspace because not a huge amount in that kitchen there is a huge sink though enormous sink light up there that's better yeah got electric hot plate three gas burner and grill oven all in true Thetford triplex plus style Okay, got a nice little uh, tap, one main socket there. Okay, let's go into the washroom. Again, it's a bit of a wet room, um, sort of thing you see in a camper van, but obviously with six, uh, six travel seats, you do have compromises in the washroom area. So it's the same sort of, um, washroom that you saw in the Carrera, which is okay, but I'm not sure how you get on with a family of five fighting for that. Toilet's on a bit of a pedestal. There's your shower point. And your little cupboard thing. And ventilation there and a hanging rail, which is good. And the timbre door comes around, which is quite nice. Obviously it's got the plastic uh, protective cover on it at the moment, as has the fridge. This is a fridge we're very familiar with, same one in our own van. Uh, enough space for a loaf in there, which we tend to use. Don't tend to use that much frozen stuff when we're on site. There's the controls for it. And a locker that Jenny can't reach. I've got some more lockers here. And here, oh, that's tall up. And tall up, long way up. And quite a deep one there. You'd probably want to put some shelves or something in there. Yeah, okay. Let's move into the bedroom. What we got under here? 
going to say that's hanging space, but I don't think it is actually. It's just a cupboard. You've got the Truma heater under there and your waste water, uh, your boiler drain valve in there, so not too difficult to get to. And in here, yeah, you've got your hanging space in there. I hope that shows up. And gas shut off valves there. Okay. Checking it was if it was my van. Quite a nice locker there, that's good. So to put your feet. Quite a nice little locker there as well. And there. Okay. So it's like three steps up here, so one, two, three. Hey. Does feel quite high up here. Uh, headroom's not too bad. Just about touching. Window. Nice padded headboard. Over there you've got two USBs and a mains plug. Somewhere to put your phone when it's charging. Got little switches up there. It's actually got curtains. There's a surprise. Curtains and, and nets. Wow, good heavens. They must have forgotten. <laughs> and they do actually go. Yeah, they do actually go across, don't they? Yeah. All right. It's not a bad area. I just feel it's a. It's quite high up, but I suppose that's because of the garage, isn't it? Really. There's a long way to to climb up. Which is strange because I think on the voyages we've looked at with the twin beds before, they didn't seem that high up. I'll have to check my video and see, but that did seem like a bit of a climb up. Yeah, I've got a. Uh, concertina type thing door if I can get hold of it yeah to pull across now I'll never get it back now will I? <laughs> that's, that's done it I'll, I'll have to leave it but yeah funny enough there's no step into the cab <laughs> everything on this floor is on the same level and you've like three steps into the bedroom so this is the Autotrail Imala 736 and it's £76,873 on a Fiat. This is an overcab model so uh, I'll have a look at this. It's quite interesting because it's only just over 7 metres. Alloy wheels. And it is licence friendly which is Quite a surprise, the size of this vehicle. Toilet could set here. As you can see, it's going to be a rear lounge model, so I think that's locked, but you would have storage under the seats. The back here, so it's a little bit of a plain back, but uh, it's got a rear view camera there. Got these uh, LED lights now, haven't they? And there's the other locker access. There's your whale um, water point. There we are. Yeah, so it looks like there's two space for two 11s in there by the looks of it. And it has got a mono control, or a mono or duo control, I can't tell. Mono control. A Truma crash sensor, so en route heating is possible. Alloy wheels, here's your barbecue point. It's amazing how many motorhomes are coming with barbecue points these days. It used to be a real sort of luxury add on. So, 140 brake horsepower, six speed manual, it's 7.25 meters long, so, like I say, only just over seven meters. Uh, 2.35 wide. Overall height is three meters, so I did say it was quite high, didn't I? 
and you've got quite a way a step away up so you've got the fold out step I don't think it's electric is it electric it certainly is our, our steps electric and in we go okay so you've got this auto trail arrangement and I think you saw this with the Bailey autograph is that you've got the two travel seats there you've got an infill cushion when you're not using it as travel seat so you take that out and put it in a cupboard somewhere uh, that's your travel seats but it is quite nice because it does mean that you've got quite a nice lounging area in here as you'll see in a minute there's plenty of places to put your feet up as you've got a little seat over there you've got seats there and there and a massive over cab guess that pulls out you've got two uh, mattress type things there and that's your bed a couple of ladders there that's good i think you've got the uh, drop down telly as well here I'll figure out how it works where well, there you go that's it you drop down telly which is a really neat idea I'm glad to see they're still doing that. When they started, there were tiny those little cameras on auto trails, but that's a reasonable size, isn't it? Obviously, if you swivel the seats out of the way, both seats do swivel, you can watch telly in the lounge, and that's nice, isn't it? Because over here, feet up, watching the telly on a rainy Wednesday. That's good. It's got a quite a substantial catch thing to put it back there. HDMI sockets. <laughs> oh, we've got there. You've got USB. Um, no, I haven't got USB. Just the lights. And lighting above. Big picture window. That's okay. Smaller window there. beginning to worry there weren't too many lockers. <laughs> Auto trail do like their lockers. There's the controls. You've got this older Truma panel and the Swift, con the older, sorry, the older Auto trail control panel as well. In the kitchen. So I've noticed you've got one main socket there. Let's see there's a light above that. Got a Russell Hobbs. <coughs> turntable microwave <laughs> there's a surprise deep square sink and what we've got in the way of fridge here got these locks on it oh, <laughs> it wasn't locked in the first place find that's quite difficult to open <laughs> but it's a Dometic fridge with locking catches <laughs> so it's, it's done it again look and yeah it must be a way of disabling that but I don't know what it is and you've got an ice box above okay tiny little cutlery drawer More cupboards in there. Zoom up here, yeah, you've got your plate rack and what have you, something to plug the microwave in. I've got a decent British <laughs> cooking area here. Electric hot plate, three gas burner, grill and oven. And a little glass panel underneath. But there you go. Proper oven and grill. Todd's always remove the knobs on the cookers if they can, if they remember, because people nick them. And no idea why. <laughs> it's always falling off, that's why. What have we got in here? Toilet. 
quite a nice sink. Another locker in here. Frosted window, mirror, and a separate shower. Okay, and that is a good size. Bifold doors. Uh, they put a little rail in there to hang wet stuff. There's your sh shower hose. And they always seem to put in, in these uh, Amalas, they always seem to put in soap racks. It's really nice. Single drain hole. That's okay. That's not bad, is it? Not a bad area. Considering really this is at least four person van. It's a reasonable size shower area. We're talking about a van that's only just over six metres. We're talking about, talking about a van that's only just over seven metres. There we go. And a big wardrobe with a table, a uh, pedestal type table, somewhere to hang your, your pedestal itself. Yeah, plenty of storage in here. Is good. And moving to the lounge. Okay, there's one of your tables in there. That's probably should have a I don't know, shouldn't that have a door on it or something, I don't know. Thought we might have a cover on it, but not sure what's going on there. Main socket TV point would be here. Got all the lockers all the way round. Bit of a corner cupboard there. It's got a, a bit of a lip on it, but... Yeah. This is not the biggest lounge you'll ever get, but then 7.2 something metres. But it's okay. I assume this makes up into another, another bed. It'll be... I suppose it'd be okay. I'll try and find out what the bed dimensions are here. And I think, like a lot of the auto trails, I would have that it thing. Yeah, it has this thing that pulls out. You can put that down, pull out. And that'll be the width of the bed. Okay. But yeah, that's okay. Certainly not, is it? Well, you can put your feet up, but there will be, your knees will be bent. But uh, I think you could just sit here, admire the scenery. Yeah. Well, I think that's it for uh, looking at new vans at Todd's. So if you're interested in any of the vans they've got here, uh, do check out the website. I'll put the link down below here somewhere. And uh, you can have a look. They've got a website that shows you what's due in as well, which is sometimes useful, <laughs> and uh, tells you what's new. They've also got a good selection of used motorhomes. I haven't looked at any used motorhomes. This, uh, this pillow here is quite interesting. It might be a classic for someone here. Right, that's it for my little visit to Todd's. I hope you enjoyed uh, what we filmed there. Uh, I've got my uh, waste valve replaced. Didn't really fancy lying on the floor myself. I could probably have done it myself, but uh, give me a chance to, and an excuse to come to Todd's and film some motones. <laughs> so if you enjoyed it, you know what to do. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Right, see you soon. Bye then. <laughs>